Hey, Mike Caldwell, the marketing medic here, and you are probably wondering, what does a firefighter paramedic know about online marketing, and how can a standard operating procedure possibly help you and your business? Well, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but first, I just wanna give you a really brief history of who I am, where I came from, and uh, what I'm up to today, all right? So, I was, I was a firefighter paramedic for 12 years. I started my career in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Then I went to Colorado, got my paramedic training, was hired from there to be the medical officer for, uh, for a fire department. Did that for a few years before coming back to Canada, where I was the chief paramedic for the Ottawa Air Ambulance, the helicopter program, okay? So, I was, I was doing that, I was loving that for the most part, but then I fell off a cliff. I fell off a 35 foot cliff, I broke my arm, I broke my leg, and I broke my back. And what that did is that, um, that created a bit of a pause in my paramedic career. It was a bit of a hiccup. Um, I was off work for a while. And I think for anybody who's had a near death experience, it, it causes them to reflect and uh, to think about what's important to them, what they really like, what they don't like, and how they want to spend, spend their life. And although I loved working on the helicopter, um, my thing was is I, nights were very painful painful for me i'm not a night person anything after midnight just makes my body physically ache and i also have a bit of a bit of problem with authority <laughs> i don't like taking orders so it just made sense given the break that i had to uh to become an entrepreneur so i sold my house i sold my cottage and i ended up buying an abandoned sawmill a 6,000 square foot building. Uh, it was three walls and a roof that was on 164 acres of Gatineau Forest uh, hilly terrain. It was beautiful. So what I did is I, like I say, sold my house, sold my cottage, bought this place, and I, I went to work and I built some businesses. And I built some really amazing businesses and all the, all the customers that came here, they told me how what I was providing was better than anything else out there in the market. But the thing was, I wasn't flooded with customers. I didn't know why. Like. I thought if you build it, they would come, and I built it, and a few people did come, and those people loved it, but I wasn't overrun with clients. So I knew I had to do more advertising, so I did all the conventional stuff. You know, I got the radio ad, I did the magazine ads, I did the trade shows, I did all that stuff. Spent a lot of money, got nothing, nothing in return. And of course, I had a website as well. I hired somebody to build me a website for each one of my businesses. You know, you have to have that. Um, my business card had the, had the web website URL, so people knew what I did. But even when I built the websites, I didn't really find a huge spike in business, right? So I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was missing. And then a couple years ago, I started hearing about these online sales funnels. And that seemed to be the holy grail. That seemed to be what I was looking for. That seemed to be what I was missing. And the solution seemed to be right there. Super simple, super easy. So I jumped in and, uh, and I got my own I start my own sales funnel, okay? And if you listen to the gurus, it sounds pretty simple. Basically, you uh, you get the software for a, a sales funnel platform, then you find a, a sales funnel that's working, you copy that sales funnel, and then you hire an accountant to count all your money. It's, it's really that easy. And for me, the, the first two steps seemed to work okay. I, uh, I bought the software and I, um, I built the funnel, but nobody was taking me up on my offer, and again, business just didn't really go anywhere. So. I said, okay, this is working for a lot of people. I know this is the way to go. I'm just doing something wrong. So I started to do the research. And that's where uh, my mind was just like crushed with all the information that was coming. There's just so many things. There's just so many platforms. There's just so many different things that I was told that I needed to have to have a profitable sales funnel. And it was just, it was just too much. It was just too overwhelming. So what I ended up doing is I went back to the basics. I went back to my firefighter. I went back to the, my paramedic training and for every huge crisis we had, we had a standard operating procedure, okay? And that's where we looked at the most critical things and we followed them step by step by step. Now, when I worked on the helicopter, this was a multi-million dollar helicopter with the highest, tool, highest grade tools in pre-hospital care. I, I, this was cutting edge stuff. Doctors in the ER didn't know how to use most of the equipment I had, all right? So, but the thing was, with all these tools, with all these skills, with all this equipment that I had, it didn't really matter if I didn't attend to the patient's ABCs, their airway, their breathing, and their circulation. Those were the three major components. If I could just manage those three things, which I could pretty much do without most of the equipment, then my patient would do pretty well if I could get them to, into the hospital, okay? And so that's what I started looking at for my online marketing. What are the ABCs of each step 
in an online marketing funnel, all right? So I broke it down from like product creation to customer identification, to the funnel build, to your value ladder, to the like the email follow-up. Each one, they have their priorities. There's usually three and I've called them the ABCs and I've created standard operating procedures for each one of these steps. Once I started doing that, my businesses here went crazy. 2016, all my weddings are sold out. Last winter, all my races were sold out. This summer, I think these races are gonna are, are close to selling out as well. I've doubled the number of uh, outdoor education trips that are coming here now. So when I applied those standard operating procedures to my own businesses, they worked. And then I started sharing what I was doing with others. And, and there's a testimonial below where with one business, we took $300 in Facebook ads, turned it into nearly $11,000 in, in revenue in the first month. And I've got a new testimonial coming soon, but those guys, they were two brothers, they own a gym, and you know what? They were working the gym part-time when I started working with them. A year later, they're now both full, they quit their jobs, they're both full-time at the gym. And the stats that I think we had in the beginning, we were doing a 36 to one return on investment, now we're up to about 54 to one return on investment. So for every dollar they put in, $54 comes back out the other side. So basically, this is what my standard operating procedures can do. So I've got a checklist to the side of this page. Just you know, click on the link, get that checklist. Get that checklist, follow it step by step. It's super easy. That's why I made it. I made it so it'd be easy to understand. So when I go back to it time and time again, I don't confuse myself. So I'm not confused. You won't be confused. It's super easy to follow. And I promise if you do those steps, you will get results. All right. So download the checklist and then uh, hit me up sometime and let me know how it's going. All right, hopefully uh, we'll hear from you and see you around. Okay, bye-bye.